right, Mr. Skeleton, here we go, buddy. I know you ain't got no legs, but it's okay. We'll, uh, we'll strap you in. Everything's Whoa. gonna be okay. There, there, buddy. Die long and prosper. I will survive. Will we survive? Will we? Hey, creeps. So, maybe I should move him up just a little bit. When I was moving in here, my uh, my stepmom, hey, Rochelle, she accidentally broke the legs off of Mr. Skeleton here, so it's cool. His name isn't actually Mr. Skeleton. I'm just calling him that as a reference to Jade the Libra, who's a favorite YouTuber of mine. She also puts a skeleton in her back seat for her uh, Halloween shopping vlogs. No, this is, this is Brom. Brom Bones, that's his name. Doing okay, Brom? Since he's missing his legs, he's not really able to walk around and go Halloween shopping, so I promised I would take him along this year. So that's right, we're gonna go Halloween shopping. Not just Halloween shopping, we're, we're gonna go book shopping too. I'm actually gonna go back to the Dollar Book Swap in Dayton, Ohio, which I've gone to a couple of times. I think I went, uh, I think, two book shopping vlogs ago, and I took you guys along. Post the link up there if you missed it. But yeah, the Dollar Book Swap, this giant warehouse filled with books, and everything's a dollar. After that, we're gonna go to At Home and see if they have Halloween decorations out yet. They usually start putting them out in July, so I'm super excited. I've not actually seen any Halloween decorations with my eyeballs yet in 2021, but I'm very, very pumped because I'm sure they have some. Also, I have heard news that there is some Halloween uh, like candles or uh, soaps or lotions or whatever at Bath & Body Works, which happens to be just down the way from at home. So I'm gonna stop by there and see what they have. I'm really hoping they have some Halloween and fall candles because I need some. I'm running low on candles and I really would like to get some Halloween candles. So. Fingers crossed that they have them in stock today. It's Monday, July 5th, so it is the day after the 4th of July, uh, which I consider to be the last day of summer because that's like the finale of summer. It ends in fireworks, and then we can start spooky season. I know a lot of you are probably thinking, no, that's, that's not how that works, Cameron, but in my opinion, it does. I think Halloween starts on July 5th. No, I don't decorate on July 5th. I usually wait until like the middle or end of September before I decorate for Halloween. Sometimes I decorate a little bit sooner. Like I think last year I was at home and so bored that I just decided to decorate uh, at the beginning of September or end of August. I don't usually do that. I usually wait until like mid-September, but I am probably going to go ahead and start reading some Halloween themed books and just kind of getting in the spirit, getting ready going halloween shopping it's just fun and you know what life's too short <laughs> you got to do what makes you happy and halloween totally does so yeah i'm just waiting for my sister taylor to come out and then we're gonna go to the dollar book swap and then go halloween shopping and i'm gonna take you along with me so hopefully we can find some good stuff are you ready brom are you ready to do this buddy yeah let's go Okay, we have made it to the Dollar Book Swap, which is literally just a warehouse in Dayton. So I'm here with my sister Taylor. Hi. And Taylor's never been here before. She's just seen it in my videos. It is literally just a giant warehouse filled with books. She's on the hunt for old, like antique books to decorate with. And I'm, of course, in the hunt for spooky books like usual. So let's go see what we can find. <laughs>
seven more babysitters club books. Jeez, I'm not gonna get out of here alive. The last time I was here, this was all blocked off and I had to ask for permission to come back here, but now they opened it up, so I have freedom. Also, uh... Everyone's done with diversion. Look, <laughs> it goes all the way down. <laughs> and also, um, it's, it has now joined the legions of Twilight books that nobody wants anymore. One hour and a hundred books later, here we are in the car. <laughs> I hit the jackpot with Nancy Drew. I didn't find much in the way of spooky books, like I was saying, but I found so many like 80s and 90s Nancy Drew books. All of them are first editions. All of the ones I picked up were in great shape. I also found a lot of um, Babysitter's Club, which Taylor actually found all of those. And you got a couple of old books, but there wasn't a whole lot. Like three. I spent $100 after tax. <laughs> so I'm shocked. There's my box full sitting next to Brom Bones back there. All right, so we're gonna go to, I think we're gonna go to At Home first and see if they have Halloween stuff. Halloween? I know, and then we'll go to Bath and Body Works from there since it's real close by. So we'll see when we get there. Hey, what's up, creepy people? So before we uh, got over <laughs> here to At Home, there it is. This is the at home in Huber, in Huber Heights, Ohio. So we'll see if they have any Halloween here. Uh, but before we we parked, we uh, we went over to Steak and Shake, which I, I think it's a Midwest chain. So some of you might not have it, but uh, it was happy hour, so we got some milkshakes, two giant milkshakes for like three dollars, which is crazy. Uh, so we're gonna drink these, and then we'll go into the at home and see. Hopefully we can find some Halloween. I want some so bad. Yes. Yes. I love them. We love these boots. And look at this guy. His eyeballs. eyeballs. So obviously, they're still in the midst of putting stuff out, but there's quite a bit out. Got this witch lady. Hey, how's it going, girl? These skeletons are cool. That is a giant ass pumpkin. It almost looks like a cheese ball. I like this guy a lot. He's really cool. I want a staff like this for myself. I hope to be as distinguished as he is when I'm dead. Look at these candlesticks. I might have to get one of those. These are so cool. Nice. And they're bleeding ones too. They'll bleed when you burn them. Really? Yeah. <gasps> See, they've got the red oh. wax. I know. Oh, this is cool. Look at this. That's so cool. Oh my it's God. Really yeah. Oh, I love it. $7.99. I really like that. This skull is kind of cool, yeah. I guess. It's like, almost like an underwater, like a mermaid skull or something. It's very glam. Very glamorous. Like glamorous. The mats are cute. Look at this. Oh, oh, Halloween's almost here, guys. It's almost here. This one. The witch is in. Love it. No, I love this. Look, it's a graveyard scene. That's a big mat. That is huge. All right, let's let's go back this way. I'm sure we missed stuff. I was kind of um having a meltdown i'm a i'm a candy corn lover but i don't really like that no. that looks no. dumb oh and just ghost That's cute. And he bobbled. we got just fall fall stuff i like this pumpkin it's on like a pedestal it reminds me of halloween town oh look how big so I got a couple of those bleeding skeleton candles. Um, and then Taylor, she got those witch boots. Mm -hmm. And it turns out that they were cracked. Just slightly, so, just like a little bit, you can't even tell. So the lady gave it, gave them to her for half off, which is just crazy. She was like, it's just not right. So it'll be better <laughs> half off, huh? And I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so the, no one will know. <laughs> the ladies ringing us out were big Halloween fans. So they were really cool. So we'll keep coming back and then they should have more out really soon. So fingers crossed. Next, we're gonna go to, I wanna go to the Dollar Tree. I wanna see if they have any Halloween. I doubt it, but then we'll, um, I wanna look and see if they have any candlestick holders because I don't actually have any and I need to get some for those candles I just bought. So 
Should be able to get some for cheap here. And then we'll go to Bath and Body Works. <laughs> oh my God, it smells so good. This is the vanilla pumpkin cream. Mm. That smells really good. Oh my gosh, it is so hot. So hot. It's quite the day to do Halloween shopping when it is boiling outside. So we did get a couple of things, Bath and Body Works. They didn't have out their Halloween, but they did have out their fall candles. So like I got, and Mr. Bon Bones here is holding my bag for me. <laughs> I got the uh, pumpkin pun waffles, which is like one of our favorite. So I got this one and then she got a couple of other ones. Yeah, I got that one and then the vanilla pumpkin cream. That one I think that's really what it was. Too. Really, really good. Just the mini haul. Yeah. Like the big one. <laughs> right. A, a baby candle. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we're going to go to Target. I doubt they'll have any Halloween. We mostly just want to look around. Uh, we might go to Aldi afterwards. So it's mostly just grocery shopping from here. So we'll let you go on with your day and we'll go on with ours, we'll part ways. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thanks for coming along with us. Catch you later. Don't forget to like this video. Later creeps. Bye.